Greetings gun enthusiasts. Here are the weights and measures from the experimental test we did with critical defense ammunition with the polymer tips removed. I sort of estimated the penetration depths a little bit. Um, these, these three rounds that I've labeled as 13 inches plus all pass through the gel block, which is about 12 and three quarter inches, and were stopped by the, uh, the, the backer, the, the water jug. This one was stopped, put a dent in the backer, but was stopped sort of halfway inside the gel. Uh, so I put 12, over 12 and a half inches um, for its resting place. The uh, the diameter measurements are not done with calipers. They're, they're sort of eyeballed, done with a clear plastic ruler. And I only measured the widest diameter, not counting the copper pedals, because I don't I don't think that's really valid. I just sort of measured the kind of the mushroom cap areas. And uh, and these are the, the weight retention, the grains of the bullets after after the test. And they start out uh, theoretically at 45 grains each. So you see there is quite a bit of, of, uh, of weight loss. Uh, copper petals and even bits of lead were observed in the gel after the tests. Obviously the bare gel round lost the most but they're not bad because they've got such a a thick heavy core you know that that stays behind no matter what you end up with a 40 grain bullet at, at the minimum still punching its way through everything in its path it's a remarkable little load i hope hornady will uh will take note of the fact that their ammo, their 22 mag ammo performs better without the polymer tip than with it. And maybe they can do something about bonding the, uh, the copper to the copper jacket to the, to the lead core as well. So that there's a little bit less shed weight when they're fired without the, um, the ballistic tip, the polymer tip inserts. I also wanted to compare, uh, briefly um the um the retained weight of a bonded bullet these are spear gold dots up here tear that to zero again drop one of those on there 39.6 out of a 40 grain starting weight so bonding obviously makes a significant difference when you're talking about firing projectiles at high velocity that are made out of two different metals into a medium like gel blocks or flesh or something that's going to act as a fluid of sorts. Let me see if I can pick here. This is a this is a bear gel test right here. That'll have lost a little bit more weight. A couple of grains shed in this this particular gold dot bullet. But you can see most of them are going to wind up with 95% weight retention, or 99% really. Uh, for the critical defense, the four-layer, uh, the four-layer shots did uh, did the best. Uh, four-layer denim shots, they they retained the most weight, and the the their ending diameter is a little bit bigger. It's uh, it's. It's a heck of a thing. I never expected to find uh, 22 magnum rounds that would be able to defeat a, a barrier test like that and, and still show this kind of performance. All right. Once again, thanks to Cal Angel for suggesting this test with the polymer tips removed from Hornady's Critical, critical Defense 22 magnum ammunition. Thanks for watching.